Hi everyone, this is Phil from It Gaming, and today I'm going to show you my guide to the cryopod in Ark Extinction. <laughs> The cryopod is a new utility item available in Ark Extinction which allows you to store creatures in your pocket, in a way that is similar to, but is legally distinct from how it works in Pokemon. In order to craft a cryopod, you will need a tech replicator. It becomes unlocked at level 51. In order to craft it, you will need crystal, fiber, hide, metal ingots, oil, and polymer, and where you're going to craft it is in the weapons tab of the tech replicator. You will notice that when you craft a cryopod, there will be a yellow timer on each of their icons, and that indicates how long the energy within the cryopods will last. So after 30 days, the cryopod will no longer be able to be used. If you're on a single player game, that's not a big deal because the moment you turn the game off, the timer stops. If you don't have access to a tech replicator, that's okay. There is an alternate way of getting cryopods, and it's not by crafting them, it's by finding them in orbital supply drops. Once you have some cryopods, simply put them onto your toolbar and then select them. And then go up to any of your creatures and by left clicking on PC, you will slowly start to put them into your cryopod. And as you can see right here, there we are. I've got my Argent in my cryopod, which you can see by the tooltip. In order to get the Argent out again, all I do is again, left click and there we are. My Argent's just fine. No harm, no foul. Yeah, that was a bird pun. When you throw a cryopod that has a creature in it, you will get a debuff, which you can see in the lower right of the screen, and it's called cryo cooldown. What this means is for five minutes, if you throw another creature out of a cryopod, it will get something called cryo sickness. And what cryo sickness looks like is, well, first off, the creature goes unconscious. It takes 10 times the amount of damage that it normally would, and it won't be able to be used until it fully wakes up because it's going to have a full torpor bar. Another thing to note is that the cryopod only works on tamed creatures. As you can see here, I'm trying to capture a Carbonemus and it's not playing nice at all. Naughty turtle. Another thing to note is that when you put a creature into a cryopod, its saddle goes in with it, but any other things in its inventory are put in a cache on the ground. Finally, if you want to have your cryopods last longer, than 30 days. There is a way of doing that, and that is with the Cryo Fridge. It becomes available at level 88, and it's also crafted in the Tech Replicator. In the Tech Replicator, you will find the Cryo Fridge in the Structures folder, then Electric folder. In order to manufacture it, you just need crystal, electronics, metal ingots, and polymer. It's a simple matter to place the Cryo Fridge because it is remarkably small for what it's capable of doing. The Cryo Fridge is unpowered, but fortunately, it can be powered with a simple generator. As you see here, it ties into my system just fine. The cryo fridge holds 72 cryopods and it will slowly charge them over time, similar to how charge batteries work in aberration. Which means as long as it's powered, the cryo fridge can store any creature in a cryopod indefinitely. If that weren't enough, there's another great reason to use cryopods and that is any creature that you store in a cryopod does not count towards any limit that your server may have towards tamed creatures, which means you can have unlimited numbers of creatures as long as you have them in cryopods. Do you have any other tips about the cryopod we should know about? Tell us what they are in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Or better yet, check out our new merchandise available at Teespring. You can find it now here at this link or in the description below. And as always, have fun out there.